Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make your own thumbnail for your YouTube videos using uh, Google, Sli Google Slides. So let's get into it. So first, you will want to go into backgrounds. And you could either pick a solid color or you could do one like this, which for my videos, I always do a custom like this. And then you could just pick. Like, for example, for this video, I'm going to go with pink and blue. No reason, I just find those two colors go well together. And then we could just, you could go liner or radial, which I'm going to stick with liner. Uh, and then we could put that there. Then we can go and search up something that we want. Like, for example, no, no reason for it. I'm going to go T-Rex with... So I have bad, t bad when it comes to spelling, transparent. But then you search up T-Rex with transparent background, go to images, and pick what you want. Well, you don't have to do T-Rex, of course. It's just I want to add a T-Rex to mine. Ooh, actually, it's that one transparent. Oh, dang it. Uh, but yeah, so I'll just copy image. Then we go back to here. And I go control V and voila. Then I've got my beloved T Rex. Uh, but just I'm going to make it way smaller and tilt it. And I'll do classic Finn and Me, which is adding. Just give me a sec, I need to get his foot up off screen. Like that. And then I'm gonna do classic or at least Finn with which this is what he did with all of his videos. I'm gonna go mustard. Mustard with transparent background. And I'm going to put a picture of mustard. And, yeah, so I'm just going to find a picture of mustard. Yeah, this one has a transparent background. Control V again, and then you've got your beloved mustard. Put it somewhere wherever you want. Then I'm going to definitely shrink this down and just put it even more actually. And then just put it in the corner here. I'm also going to put the T Rex more on the screen. Uh, then, I then I go here, shapes, and then I could go. You could pick a different color, but to make mine look more, a bit better, I usually go with just transparent for both of them. And then you could pick a color, which I am going to go with purple. Actually, no, because there already is a purple-ish color, so I'll red. I'll go red. Then you switch your thing. If you, if you like the starter one, then that's fine. I always go with press start, then you go here and I'm how to make a thumb now. There we go. Then I'd highlight it and make it as big as I want, which I like going about that size. By the way, thank you for all the support on the last video. Uh, so, 
yeah then I'm going to do that again and put it here and then I'm gonna do the same and make both of them transparent background and all that stuff just I'm gonna already size it up already to 24 red and then size that up to and then write the guys then I could tilt it a little bit and throw it there in the corner so yeah it's simple as that to make your very own thumbnail so uh, I hope you're having an amazing day and if not I hope your day gets a whole lot better and of course if it's the end of your day then tomorrow's a new day and until the next video peace out